Hey guys and welcome to a tutorial video about the improved shielding function in FIFA 17. In the last years this feature was called protect the ball. EA reworked this feature and you can use it more efficiently and diversely now. In this video we show you the execution and also various situations when to use it. Just a heads up, you will see a lot of situations in which additional knowledge about several concepts is helpful. We are going to provide these concepts in our FIFA 17 guide, which is going to be published shortly after release of FIFA 17. The execution of the shielding function is pretty simple. As soon as you want to protect the ball, press L2 or LT. The player is going to position himself and also the ball, so that the opponent player can get to the ball. Sometimes it takes a moment before your player can get into this position. As long as you hold L2 or LT, the player keeps shielding the ball with his body. You can still use the left stick to move your player, but depending on the position and actions of the opponent player, your player will move slowly and cautiously. When you release the L2 or LT button, your player is going to exit the shielding position. Now you can use the shielding function to secure ball possession and you can use it in various situations. Here you can see the shielding in action right after receiving the ball. Usually the opponent player could have a chance to tackle the ball right here. But as you can see, your player turns around and is able to keep playing the ball forward with more space. Sometimes your player struggles with the ball acceptance since the pass was too hard or it was just bad luck. In earlier versions of FIFA, these were the prime situations for the defenders to get the ball, but now you can use the shielding function to get the ball under control and then continue with your attack. The shielding function allows you to accept the ball more safely, but you can continue in this position to give your teammates more time to get in position or to do offensive runs. Keep holding the ball with the shielding function and then play a nice pass to your teammate. But the shielding function isn't only limited to secure the ball, you can also use it to change the direction of play. Here you have a 3 vs 2 situation, but you aren't in a position to play the pass. In a situation like this, you usually would have to use a skill move, like step overs or fake shot, which can be risky since the ball is unprotected afterwards, or you go for a slow turnaround. Here you can use the shielding function to turn around quickly and safely, to play the deadly pass and score the goal. You can also use the shielding nearby and in the opponent's box to realize somewhat of a handball-like play. Pass the ball, secure it, and look for the next free teammate. With enough patience, or lack of patience by your opponent, you can create some space. When you're dribbling up front, an opponent player can tackle the ball. When you notice that danger is getting too serious, use the shielding function. This can result in some beneficial situations when the opponent fails with a try to get to the ball. We already talked about skill moves like step overs. Here you can see how I failed to surprise the opponent with step overs and the ball is completely open for him to take. You can try to rescue situations like this by using the shielding function. Pressing the L2 or LT button doesn't always result in a full stop of your player. When you're in a running duel, you can use the L2 or LT button to push the opponent player away and then continue running. In this case, just for a quick tap of the shielding button. Lucas might be faster than Costa, but Costa is stronger. This was already one of the most efficient ways to use the protect the ball feature in the last years. You cannot only use this feature offensively, but also defensively. We all know these situations, you manage to get to the ball and you are immediately in the danger of losing the ball right away. This can end up horrifically. Now you can use the shielding to secure the ball position and then distribute the ball to the next teammate. Alright, this was a lot to cover. As you can see this function is incredibly versatile and we might also have missed some situations. Make sure to follow us so you won't miss out on our additional videos and also our FIFA 17 guide in which we take up all the concepts mentioned here like getting ball position, distributing the ball, skill moves and many more. For more information check out our Patreon campaign of the FIFA 17 guide. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and find it helpful. If this was the case, please leave your feedback in the comment section below, leave a like and share it with your friends. This helps us a lot. We really appreciate your support. Keep a clean sheet, I'm out. Step 2. Power up the penalty shot by pressing the circle or B button. The longer you press this button, the higher the shot will be. In this